Okay, remember those pants we prepared? So I decided to take said pants, since I'm on a galaxy kick right now and I can't just seem to get past it at the moment, um, and have some fun with them and paint them to look like a galaxy. So when I'm doing this on fabric, the first thing I do is get out the bleach. Uh, my preference is bleach gel or these bleach gel pens, which are even thicker than your standard bleach gel. I love them. They're great for writing designs and bleaching out designs in dark fabric. Uh, you can write words and all kinds of stuff. In this case, I've just crinkled up the leggings and I'm just putting a bunch of the bleach gel on there and I'm squishing it around and pushing it around. I've got gloves on my hands. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area um, and um, make sure that you have gloves on and that you maybe even have eye protection on. This is not something for kids. Once you, you have them bleached out as much as you want to have them bleached out, then you need to machine wash and dry them and get all the bleach off before you do the next step. So they're all dried and cleaned now and I showed you the whole repair. So now we're going to get going and turning these into uh, galaxy um, pants. So the first thing I did was put an apron on and I've got some stenciling and stippling brushes off to the side and some of our DecoArt So Soft fabric paint, which I just love in some different colors of uh, blues, purples, pinks, and of course white. I do get a blackout also. Um, I will have the list of the colors in the description below. I use the patterns and shapes in the pants that were created by the bleach to guide me in creating the galaxy design as I'm painting. I start with my lightest color other than white, which is a blue, and I dip my stenciling brush in the paint and then use a swirling and scrubbing motion to add the color to the pants. And as you see, I occasionally dip the brush in water uh, to just thin it up a little bit and help with the scrubbing and blending of the colors on the paint. And I'm just doing this swirling and scrubbing blending um, of the colors and I am starting with the lightest color working my way out to the darkest one um, which is the dark purple and then I go back and add touches of the lighter purple and a little bit of the pink and then some more of the lightest blue and I work my way around the pants I also add some black in where I think I've gotten too much color or maybe there's a bleach spot in a place that I don't want a bleach spot like right in the middle of the crotch <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna add some black to that and it helps with the galaxy design and you can already see by watering down the paint a little bit and scrubbing it in that you can see the bleach stains through the paint and it adds to the um, galaxy effect of the design on the pants and um, I really you can do this with any color scheme um, you need probably at least five colors um, I use generally use um, somewhere between four and six. I prefer the blues, purples, and pinks, but you of course could do this. Maybe your favorite colors are greens and yellows. Um, you definitely could do that. Um, and just work your way around the pants, um, adding color until you get a design you really like. Working on the front, getting the whole front done, and then turning the pants over and doing the back um, I don't wait for anything to dry at this moment. Uh, I just go ahead and keep painting and painting and scrubbing and I alternate between doing it standing and sitting down because it actually did take quite a few minutes to um, get the pants looking the way I wanted and uh, I've sped it up for you guys here and, and cut out quite a few things but um, my, I'm not as young as I used to be and my back started to hurt so. <laughs> Um, and I did a few of these galaxy projects, all of which are coming up. So anyway, um, I did use the colors of Indian turquoise, black, white, uh, ocean blue. Again, these will be in the description below. Dark rose, lavender, dioxazine purple, and Mediterranean blue. And those are the colors I had. Now I've done enough of these galaxy projects. I actually, I think I need to place another order with DecoArt. So here we are working on the back of the pants and, um, or I'm sorry, we're still on the front of the pants. Here I am um, adding the black. 
So I've decided there's a little too much color. So I want to darken up some of it and add, bring some of the black back that I'm starting to lo lose. So I'm scrubbing in the, some of the black the same way I did the colors. Uh, and there you can see me adding it to the crotch of the pants because I just thought, decided that that does not need to be bright blue and pink. Um, so I'm scrubbing it in in a few places and blending it out by getting the brush wet. I'm just using a very little bit of paint. We're not, you know, talking about having globs of paint on the brush with any of these colors. Um, you do want to make the pants maybe a little bit brighter than you normally would want them to be because when you do cure the So Soft fabric paint and wash the garment for the first time, you will lose a bit of that vi vibrancy. So you want to make sure they're maybe a little brighter than you want the finished product to be. So here you can see me flipping it over to the back and I've kind of readjusted and refolded the pants so that I can see a little bit of that front side seam on the back of the pants. And that's so I can continue the colors around the side of the leg and I don't end up with an obvious line down the inside, uh, the outside of the leg. And I do the same thing with the inside of the leg. And um, I just bring the same colors around that I see poking out from the front. And I start scrubbing them in the same way I did in the front on the back. Um, you do want to probably be mindful of not having a giant bright white light vibrant spot on your rear end. That's probably, you know, it's like having the word juicy printed on the back of your pants. I just think that might not be super attractive. If that's what you want, cool, whatever floats your boat. I'm not one to judge, certainly. I'm certainly no fashion maven, but um, you just might want to think twice about it, maybe. <laughs> So I'm using all the same colors I used on the back and I'm scrubbing them in. I am um, grabbing water. I did decide to set, have a separate brush for the black, then I do the colors. I decided that that was a, a bit smarter because I kept having to clean off my brush and that wasn't working for me. Um, but I am going to add some black in also. And I get these base swirly scrubby bits of color in and get them perfected before I do anything else. So I spend a lot of time doing essentially what's the background to our ga galaxy. We're creating the nebulas and the interesting background to our stars, and which is what's going to really make it pop. So um, spend a little time with this. Don't cover up all the bleaching because the bleaching helps you um, suggest your galaxy. And that, you know, not only gives you a starting point for the painting patterns, but it helps you suggest the finished product when you um, get done with this part and you start adding the stars in. Here we go, we've got some white paint. I've got some smaller brushes and I thinned it down with a little bit of water and then I'm just splatter, splattering it on the pants. I just got the brush wet with paint and I just shook it out and, and over the pants. And um, then I take a smaller brush and I take some of the same paint and I paint streaks on um, that I blend out part of um, to create sort of a misty, foggy element to our nebulas and you can see a better shot there. Um, I take some of those large splatters sometimes and I will blend them out and I do the same thing I did before. I'll just grab some water if I need it, but the white paint's already kind of watered down. And this just really, as I'm doing this, as you can see, the galaxy really starts to pop. You start to add that kind of foggy, misty element to your galaxy, to your nebulas, and it really starts to make it come to life. And I do this first with white, and then I decide when I go back if it needs to have the same thing kind of done with one of the colors from the pants. Um, mostly I do this with white, but you will see me in a minute here. Um, I, I, I blend out some of it, and then I add some more splatters, and then I go down to the legs. Uh, you will see me in a minute here um, also go in with um, some of the colors, and I will go in um, with sometimes with like the pink or the blue and I'll do a little bit of it with the colors too um, and I've done so many galaxies I think I did it on the pants but I guess we'll find out in a minute here um, so I just splatter it on and then um, if I get some of the splatters that I don't think look very star like then I just blend them out like you see me doing and it adds that misty foggy quality to our galaxy that makes it look like a galaxy makes it look dimensional and make it makes it look a little more realistic not that i ever really shoot for lots of realism or anything because i don't 
Um, and if you get too much white, don't forget you've got the black fabric paint, so you can always go back in and add black um, or, or one of the colors and just really layer it up and you know add lots of layers and like I said, make it a little brighter than you think you probably want it to be um, because I think you'll be happier once it's washed and dried if you do. Well, maybe I don't add colors to this one. I know in one of the pieces I did, I actually did the white and then I went in and did it um, the um, same thing with, I think, pink or blue. Uh, and it really turned out fabulous. Really just, you know, have fun and do some experimenting with this. Get out an old pair of pants that are, you know, trash anyway. And um, what's the worst that can happen? So there's a big giant white blob right on my butt. That's the back of the pants. So I do um, believe that I do something about that because that's just not going to work right there in the middle of my rear end. <laughs> but you'll see, I just, this is sped up two times. Um, so the whole process took me uh, about an hour to get painted. But it was a lot of fun to do. And then you have to let the paint um, now see there you see me covering up sort of some splotches that were not a good shape. Um, you have to let the pants dry for 48 to 72 hours before you, um, before you wash them. So there the pants are finished and dry. I really like the way they turned out. So have some fun with it. Enjoy the process and don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Have fun painting some galaxies on fabric and I'll see you later.